Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Middle School Math Survival Guide. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi fellow mathematicians, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. And this slide may look familiar from the ratio and percent video. Hopefully you saw that before as the intro to this. And it, it is, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty much everything the same here. Ratio is 36 hundredths and a percent is 36 percent. And we have our blocks here that are colored out determining what percent of this hundred frame is covered in orange. Now, how do we represent this as a decimal? Well, if you look at this here, it's 36 hundredths. And if you remember that 36 hundredths can be written as 0 0.36. That's 36 hundredths. Like, whoa, wait, wait, wait a minute. Or if you're just presented with a percent, you just have to look at it this way is that the decimal points there and you go one two and you add that decimal there let's take a look at that so there we have it this is how it looks as a decimal when you approach a problem always look for a direction it says write the fraction or decimal as a percent we'll have a fraction here and we have a decimal here but wait this doesn't have a hundred down below what we can do is we can look at this and say well i know that 425s make 100 so i multiply the top and bottom so i just say four over four a little dot there saying multiplication there and so 4 times 7 is going to be 28 and 4 times 25 is going to be 100 so now we have 28 hundredths and we want to convert that into a decimal again if you remember creating those decimals from fractions especially when it has a hundred here it's like one two there we go one two that's where we put that decimal point right here when we have a whole number we're going to go over two decimal places to create that decimal there. Now, how do we create the percent? Well, again, we have this decimal, and all we need to do is move this decimal point over two, and then put the percent sign. See the correlation? So the two, and the eight, and then there's that percent. So I'm moving that decimal over to here, and making it a percent sign, so I get 28%. But wait, look at this. Shouldn't this be really easy? Yes, you should just be able to go one, two, and say that's 71. 0.7%. Now, is that correct? Well, let's take a look and see what the math is behind that. So we see here that 717 thousandths is right here, but we need to have this as hundredths down below. What do you do? Well, you can take off that zero, but when you do that, you have to put a decimal point right here. You get 71.7 hundredths. Let's see, what does that mean as a percent? So what that means, it's going to be 71.7 percent. Let's look at that correlation as well here. So he, again here, it's 28 hundredths. Look at that, there's 28, and you just put a percent sign there. Once we get it into hundredths form, same thing, 71.7. It's you're just going back and forth. You can start with a decimal. It's what I think that's much easier to create a percent from. And or you can look at the fractions. Now, if this was seven over thirty-six, one way to do that, and I'll go over that in another one, is to just do the long division, create that decimal, and then move the decimal point appropriately to create the percent. Until next time, to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math. Thank you. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.